What is poppin'? This is the Matty Ice Show. I'm your host, Matty Ice. It is episode 20, 20. We made it. We're in the 20s now, pretty soon the 30s, 40s, and 50s. I got Robert Nelson Jr., the NFL cornerback, recording artist, businessman, owner of O Autica Wave, a new clothing line that's just making a lot of noise right now. Make sure you check it out, that O Autica. With that, Nikki, let's tell the world about my guy, Robert Nelson Jr. I am in the studio right now with my guy, Robert Nelson Jr. What's going on? What's up, bro? I'm so happy to have you here. Um, I had the family uh, on my Instagram live, Thad Lewis. I love uh, I love Cuzzo Thad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's my guy, so shout out Thad Lewis. My Cuzzo, man. He taught me a lot of lessons. For sure. You know, we battled, you know, on the football field, and, and we learned together off the football field, man. Great guy, you Definitely, know. Definitely, bro. How, uh, how long did you and Thad, like, run some football drills together and stuff, you know, when you were younger, or did you? No, nah, we didn't. We actually... We found out that we were cousins uh, going into my second year um, in the league. We okay. played on Cleveland together. And, uh, you know, I talked to my dad on the phone. We was in camp. And uh, Dwayne Bo, Joe Hayden, and Thad, and Josh Gordon was, you know, in the little corner lockers talking. And my dad had told me the night before, he was like, uh, you know you playing with your cousin. I'm like, who? It's like, Dad. I'm like, who is Dad? Like the quarterback, <laughs> I said, "Oh, the only black quarterback." That ain't my cousin. Like, yeah. So, um, I seen him, and I was like, "What's your old girl name?" I just went up to him and said, "What's your old girl name?" You know, he was like, "What?" what? He's like, "Who is? What's he like, what are you asking?" Right. Yeah, like, boy, who is you asking about my mama, bro? Right. I'm like, "That's my auntie." Right. He was like, "What?" I'm like, "Yeah." So we just chopped it up and we just. You know, jail together after that moment, man, still to this day. Like, yeah, I mean, family, there's no bond bigger than right, that. Right. So, you know, blood's blood. So, right. that's dope that you guys were able to link up. And then, you know, getting into the whole Cleveland thing, I want to let these people know you went to ASU, obviously. You're a legend up at ASU. Mm-hmm. You played cornerback at ASU. Right. Um, the last two years up in here, um, you know, your your final two years of college. Right. And then you went to the Browns and, and obviously played for the Texans too. Um, but I wanted to ask you, bro, because, you know, you're so respected here, especially just as an athlete, as a person, right. you know, as a businessman, all that. Um, what was it like transferring from college and then going, you know, to start with the Browns and obviously going to play for the Texans, which you had a big role up in there? Um, it, the experience, man, was uh, it was one of the most confusing experiences I've ever had. Just not knowing, you know, which round you're going to get drafted or if you're going to get drafted, period. And, um, you know, just having a first through third round grade, I didn't know. I was just anxious. I'm like, yeah, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? You know, um, with the combine process, I didn't get invited. You know what I mean? I'm like, dang, I'm the best in the country and I don't get invited. That don't make sense. So a lot of stuff was confusing for me, but I think it was for me to grow. Um, but far as the experience, man, I went undrafted, um, and I actually quit, you know, for about two hours. I quit. I'm like, I can't do this, um, because I knew I was supposed to get drafted. And, um... That's tough, man. Yeah. You know, you worked so hard. So, I mean, my whole life, 24 right. years, man, and, you know, uh, a couple of my, one of my teammates, Alan Darby, who we, um, you know, we made the juice mans after him. Uh, he called me. He was like, where you going? I'm going to San Diego. I'm undrafted. I'm like, what? I'm like, man, I'm done. And a couple teams was calling me, and uh, he was just like, Rob, you one of the best corners I've ever seen play, bro. Like, and you probably the best corner to come through Arizona State. That's actually, you know, and that's what circulates, too. That's how I right, right. got to find you anyways. Right. And, um, you know, I was just like, dang, he was like, bro, you can't quit. And I just got so angry at that point, and I... You know, Cleveland was blowing me up at the moment, and, you know, Joe Hayden was one of my favorite corners. Joe Hayden's unbelievable. You know, good, great dude, man. And um, I just was like, you know what? I'm going to make this fucking team. Right. That's what was going to my head. I said, I'm going to prove everybody wrong. All mentality. After that, I called Cleveland. I said, y'all still got a spot for me? And I was like, yeah. I said, you know, I'm coming. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, we, you know, we happy. I said, I'm going to make this team. I promise you that. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, I promise you I'm going to make this right. team. 
this is this is it. And I just hung up the phone and after that, you know, it was good just being around pros, you know, seeing that those guys are, you know, human just like us. You know, we see everybody on TV and we put them on a pedestal, you know, but these guys just like us, same lives, you know, um, you know, you just got more money and you see them on TV. You know, I always have had a lot of respect for athletes and, and what you guys do. And, you know, right. every, everybody talks about like, oh, they're overpaid, this, that. Here's the thing, you know, we were just talking about, you know, AB before, you know, a few minutes ago mm -hmm. before we even started this. And, you know, I'll use him as an example. Right. People don't really understand. And, and you too. I know you work, you, right, your right. work ethic is insane. But, you know, when guys wake up at 435 in the morning and they don't put one bad calorie in their body mm -hmm. and they're training from 530 to 8 at night and they still have a family and still have to live a normal life too. They're putting in that work and then to sacrifice their body on the field. Right. It's a whole different dimension to me. And like, I, th I feel like they do deserve their money. If you put that work in, and there's only like 2,000 football players in the <clears throat> NFL. Correct. You deserve to get paid. 1,600. 1,600. change. There you go. So especially in that situation, you know, you only get an opportunity or two and you guys deserve to get paid. And, right. uh, you know, you were in the league for a while. How, how many years did you actually play in the I league? I mean, this. this and you're going to go be, back in. This too. would be seven. Um, you You're know, a bet. I got right. You know, I got um, I got five credited uh, seasons. Um, I had one in, one season. I got injured, um, and then I played in the AF. Got injured in that. <sighs> played in the XFL. Right. I want to talk to you about that in a little bit. Yeah. And then you know, just right now, we got probably about eight teams that's ready to work me out, but sure. we can't work out because of COVID. Right. You know what I mean? Tough so, times. So just. It's a blessing, you know what I mean? You played for the Texans. That was your main team for right, a while, for right. 2015 to 17? Right, right. What was it like playing over there? Did you play for Bill O'Brien? Yeah, I played for Bill. How's B? How's B? Interesting. How's Hopkins? He dope, he dope. He's he dope. up in here now, Arizona. Yeah, yeah, Hop a good guy. OB, he interesting, man, because he going to bring the best out of you. He going to piss you off so, like. I like Bill O'Brien. Right, I, I, I like him, you know, but he's interesting. He's trying to figure you out, and the type of person I am, mm. I'm trying to figure He's you out poker. too. Right. Both playing poker. So we playing a game. Everybody right. else like, oh, this is just coach, you know. So he realized one day, um, quick little story. You know, I'm fresh at I'm fresh. Um, what this is my second year, 2016. You know, I'm starting to get a little notice. Um, the equipment guys, they didn't put my jersey in my locker. We got like uh, 10 minutes to be out there. I'm with Kareem Jackson, Jonathan Joseph, and Kevin Johnson. So uh, we running out. I'm like, yo, I don't got my jersey. I was like, you better not be late. I tell you that. Boom, I'm running out there with no jersey, right. shoulder pads. He blew the whistle and stopped. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, son? Get I've the seen him fuck like out of here. In front of everybody, the media and all, I'm like, Yo, you know my jersey. I don't give a fuck. Get out of here. I'm like, he stopped fucking walking. Just go sit in the fucking locker room. I'm like, damn. damn. Yeah. So I'm in the locker room thinking. <laughs> I said, I don't even give a fuck if I get cut today. I'm about to lock everybody ass down, and I'm gonna look at him every fucking time. I'm gonna look at coach every fucking time, and I'm saying, give him that stare. Right. Like, yo, you you the one did this. So I came back out. Locked everybody up. Me and Hop out there strapping. And you're locking like, Hop up. Well, Hop, everybody. Everybody. After practice, he came and grabbed me. He was like, you a special guy. <laughs> Damn, but do I have to fucking yell at you like that every day? Maybe I should. Do you think that he yelled at you intentionally to get you to to deliver? You, know, and you always deliver yeah, when yeah, you go on yeah, the field, yeah, but yeah. to just give you that little extra motivation at yeah, that yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it was, you know, he taught me a lot of responsibility, man. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, That's good. You're not going to be a fucking kid anymore. Right. Straight up, like, you know, you're a grown man, and I'm going to treat you like a grown man. I don't care. There's no excuse in the book. You make sure they got your jersey in there. So every day... I came early. That made me come early mm -hmm. so that I had everything prepared for, for practice, but I still kept that same mentality because I'm like, he'll cuss my ass out, and nobody on the team is going to say nothing. Well, I know I know the fans loved you in Houston, right. and I know the players loved you out there, and, and you were out there for a while. You were there for a couple of years. Right. I mean, um, that's incredible, and it's a great organization. I'm happy we got a— uh, you know, I'm a big Hop. Cardinal guy. Hop. Yeah, I got I got my guy D Hop over shout here. Shout out to Hop, man. Yeah. Shout out DeAndre he Hopkins. The goat. He the GOAT, man. Kyler sure. Murray up in here. For sure. I had uh Christian Kirk from the Cardinals. I interviewed him okay. a few yeah. weeks ago. He's cool. I don't really know him too much. I heard he's a good dude though. Real dope dude. Yeah. Uh I had uh the high class hippie. Yeah. Mar uh, Marquette. My I dog. Marquette King. 
and I'm I'm saying this right on camera, right on the mic. He's straight up one of my favorite people I've ever met in my life. Man, he's just happy every day. And, you know, ever since, you know, me and him bonded through the XFL, man, he's been a big, major influence in my life for real, man. So that's what I wanted to ask you. You both played up in St. Louis. Right. Um, obviously, around April with mm -hmm. COVID, you know, the XFL got you right. know demolished because of everything that's going on, unfortunately. I thought it was a cool league, especially you oh, know, yeah. for people that are, you know, even trying to get back in the league or just want to go play and or don't even want to be in the league and just want to do that. It just depends. But um, what was that like playing in St. Louis with guys like Marquette? I have the utmost respect for that guy. Uh, St. Louis, no disrespect to St. Louis. It really is nothing there. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, But it was a time I needed to find myself. You know what I mean? Focus. I needed to figure out, was this going to be my last year? Was I going to focus 100% on clothing? Mm -hmm. Did I still love the game? You know, and I was... I'm one of the oldest people. I probably, me and Will Hill was the oldest people on the team. So they calling me OG. I'm like, what the hell? I know I ain't this damn old, you right. know? And um, I'm like, damn, I'm 29. Like, you know? So I'm the only one who had my own room. And, you know, we were sharing rooms with people. And mm. I was like, yo, I can't play if, you know, I run a business. So some nights I'm going to be up at five o'clock in the morning and I got to be at practice at seven. True that. You know, and that's exactly what happened. I was like, all right, got my own room. And, you know, I just found myself being happy with, with myself, being proud of myself for making it to, you know, China to create, you know, these cleats in this brand, being happy to I can't make wait to talk about the, that, let these people know. You know, the NFL, you know, being happy to just be alive, man, and, and not have to struggle like I did before. And, you know, that helped me perform better and Marquette came along. I was driving to practice in the morning. It was cold, snowing. He walking. I'm like, yo. He was like, I'm good, cuz. He's like, a beast. I'm good. I'm, good. <laughs> just, I'm like, nah, bro, get in the car. Da, da, da. We right. chopped it up. We bonded just like that. He's awesome. Yeah. He dope. came in the studio and just, he, he's incredible. He's, just, yeah, he he's dope. the funniest dude ever. Yeah, he dope. <laughs> he dope. That's my dog. And he's swaggy. Yeah. Super swaggy. That's my, that's uh, my guy, man. Shout out the high class hippie Marquette King. Okay. Uh, he actually just dropped some new music, so everybody go check that out too. Yeah, he dope. It was a he dope, dope song. You heard his music? I heard his new dope. song he just dropped today uh, called dope. Bullet. Dope. With he some dope. Jody Ferguson or something like that? Yeah. It was good, bro. Marquette's good, bro. The music's dope. Yeah, he, he dope, man. He definitely, he definitely going to take over, man, for sure. Are you from the ATL, bro? No. Where are you from? I graduated there. Okay. I'm from Florida. Originally okay. from Lakeland, Florida. Okay. Um I saw they had their jersey hung up in in the school, like he, legendary stuff. Yeah, that's um that's like this little center everybody from Lakeland go to. Like, you know, we grew up in the Pouncy Twins, Chris Rainey, okay. you know, my Black Ray Lewis. Sure. You know, all them guys went to that center. And if your jersey in there hanging up, like you know, our city small. Mm -hmm. So if your jersey and they're hanging up, like everybody seen it, like, you know, they, they did, made you it. did something. You yeah. know what I mean? You the, you, you the GOAT. You right. the legend. Because it's hard to come out of Lakeland and, you know, some of the best athletes in the world come out of Lakeland, and that's throughout Florida. True that. Period. Uh, is that where AB came out of or no? No, AB from Miami. Okay. He's he from down there, you know. I mean, the whole Florida is just, I mean, that's all we know. You it's know, you're going to find talent everywhere, but when you speak Lakeland name, that speaks values throughout Florida, and that's big. So you grew up in Florida, went to high school in Atlanta. Right, right. And then your first two years, where did you play? In college? Um, Louisiana Monroe. And then went to ASU. Right. The Browns, mm -hmm. Texans, and then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome, bro. Um, you know, on the flyer and about you, you know, I I mentioned that, obviously, you're an NFL cornerback. Right. Um, you're a businessman. Uh, you're a recording artist. We're going to get into those right, other right. two things, too. I mean, dude, you do everything, bro. Um, it's incredible. But let's get into the O-Audical way because okay. I hit you up. You know, I've been – it's sick. I right. love it. Love right. the branding. Love the logo. I appreciate it, Love man. the style. And, bro, what I think is crazy is a you lot of people – good in it, man. Bro, I needed it. I told you, please. I needed it. But, <laughs> you know, a lot of people – everybody starts, you know, a clothing line. A lot of people mm -hmm. can start – I've even started one. You right. know, Whatever. But a lot of people have started a clothing line. Right. The difference between Robert Nelson Jr.'s line, oh, Audical Wave, and everybody else's right. is, dude, you got a line of everything. I mean, we're sitting here with football cleats. Right. We're sitting here with beanies. I got a track suit on. You got a shirt. And we're just like right here, bro. I know you got a catalog. Right, right. And it's not just that. Like you said, you know, the whole China thing. I know you actually, I think, went out there. Right. Dealt with the factories probably directly. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's what it takes, bro. You know, getting on that plane back and forth. And like you said, the sleepless nights, waking up at four or five in the morning and then going to, you know, do your drills, practice, all yeah. that. Talk to me about Oatica, bro. Oatica way. 
Owatakaway, Owatakaway, Owatakaway. Man, it started in, it started in, uh, it actually was a part of me coming to Arizona State. Um, I had a clothing line called Broke Billionaires. Basically, um, from the experiences growing up in Florida, you know, we have That's broke. good quality too, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. But, you know, see that. See growing up in, in, in Florida, we, uh, we tend to have a broke mindset, you know, so... When I got the opportunity to see high schools, good high schools, college, I'm like, you know what? Broke to billionaires. My mind is becoming a billionaire. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I had broke billionaires. Met with some people. I'm not going to say their name. Sure. Went to New York, met with some top-notch people. Sure. Right? And I'm in this meeting not knowing that I need a non-disclosure. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, no, bro. You know? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, People try to take yeah, advantage. Yeah, man. They, they took advantage of it. Basically bid it for the name, you know, Damn. probably won it. So in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I could cre create any name and it's going to pop. Anything I touch is going to pop. Because it's the because, work ethic afterwards that right. takes it. And the top-notch people in the fashion industry try to take that away from me. So I was like, all right. You know, I'm a big atmosphere type of guy, you know, and um, just coming up with a water Kuwait, about it took me a couple months. And um, I was like, okay, Oata Kuwait, the ozone. I want to do something with the ozone because I really feel that that helps shift our energy. What's the moves. slogan, bro? Because it's something with that, like the Oata Kuwait, wave, uh, catch the wave, you know, balance with life, you awesome, know, dude. Uh, ride the wave, all that is patent, you know. It's dude, straight up. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't just talk shit on camera or just right. say shit, you know, just to say it. Um, I wouldn't even rock it if I didn't like it, especially being on camera. <laughs> I appreciate for, it. You appreciate see what I'm saying? It. Like I'm being for real. Shit's tight. I appreciate um, that, man. Super tight. I saw the website, you know, and you're doing your thing, bro. Like, yeah. and I know you're working really hard on it mm -hmm. in like your promo videos. Yeah. Um, where can they shop a water? Could tell tell these people, you know, girls, men's product, women's products, cleats. Have you worn those in yeah. game? What's that like playing? I wore those younger in, high school athletes. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, those gonna be, you know, my high school. We are gonna sponsor my high school this year. Um, you know, these gonna be available this year. I'm, we just trying to still figure out great material. It's gonna be yeah, this it's solid. This, yeah, this. That's not cheap stuff. This, it took me 20 samples to get this. That's crazy that you're doing yeah. cleats, bro, because yeah. no one even touched that. Right, right, man. I mean, it, it's tough. When you go out there, you see the market, the people friendly, you know, and, and that's what inspired me to do the women's line, you know, great material. I'm like, how can we be better than Nike? Nike dropped me. That's why I really took it serious. Dude, these feel like, I mean, these feel, I mean... These feel as good what as, size my, you as my Giuseppe's, bro. What <laughs> size you wear? I'm a 10, bro. You're a 10. Try it on. All right. What size is this? A nine and a half, 10. Okay. Like I said, these these feel just like my Giuseppe's, bro, on the outside. So. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice, bro. Is it the nine and a half? Nine and a half. These actually fit, bro. These are comfortable, man. Yeah, these it's are memory foam in the bottom. Damn. Yeah. Man. Bro, you went all in on these. Oh, yeah. This wasn't just like you had it and you know, especially with cleats too. It's not like a regular shoe. You gotta make sure these are perfect. You're playing oh, yeah. a game with the best oh, yeah. the best you're going against D Hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh my factories, they uh you know, you get a certificate sure. when it's all done. Right. You know, it hey, this one didn't work. We threw that one out and made another one. Sure. You know, this is ready to go. This is game ready. Mm-hmm. Everything is like that. Have you had other players that have worn these or other athletes that have worn them that have really enjoyed playing them? Yeah, the, the the goat who I said from Cleveland, he won. Yeah, yeah, but we can't say his okay, name because yeah, he's yeah. sponsored. He sponsor yeah, yeah. by the big. People, I got you. you know I got I mean? you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean everybody: Jonathan Joseph, Kareem Jackson, uh, Charles James. Uh, Charles James, cool. Yeah, you know the big dog who we said, uh, Kevin Johnson, um, Morris Claiborne, uh, Kayvon Webster. Um, Everybody's messing with the wave. Uh, Tyler Patman, uh, uh, Raheem Moore. Uh, Bro, did, did you design the logo? Yeah. Sick. It's, I mean, it looks, and you know, everybody looks at it like, that's a simple logo, right? Nah. People like that. Yeah. It's creative, bro. You know, and just because it looks, you know, and even Nike, you know, you got a little line or like yeah. Adidas. It's, it's all the same. It's all, yeah. but it's just, it just pops, bro. There's it something pops. about it. Tell me what you see. Look at it. Tell me what you see based on the name. A lot of Kuwait. Tell me what you see in the logo. Oh, article wave. Man, I'm having a hard the, time with this. The first two letters of the first Awadaka and the W of wave. 
Okay. You see okay. It now it? I see that right there. You okay. See it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it, ain't, oh, yep. it ain't just like the logo. Right, right, right. It's actually That's the name. Dope. In okay. The logo. Now I see it right there. You know what I mean? So, With the wave. Yeah. Got you. Dope. That's cool. sick, dude. I just love it. I like the branding. Have you? Uh, what's been your best selling item? And what are you trying to like? What's what type of client person do you think is gonna cater towards this brand? And what's your best selling items right now? You got it on. Yeah, this track suit's so you sick. You got it on. It's so this is the second season. This is it's a lot of things different. That, that and the beanie, so, bro. Beanie's yeah. super quality. I'm a big beanie guy. I love beanie. I appreciate it. Yeah. Super. I mean, that sells out so fast. Like, that's why I went on a little 30 day world tour, you know, because they going crazy. And, um, you know, I was like, I'm trying to figure out a spot where we could put a store. For but, sure. Yeah, man. I mean, um, that's the best seller. And we just, we got everything. Matter of fact, Guys, and this is no bluff. This old article is super, super drippy. I came in. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Bro, is this me? Yeah, I'm you. Damn, dude, I got hooked up. I'm so happy we did this, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm even rock the yeah. pink ones. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> this brand is for real, guys. Like, And like I said, I just think it's incredible, bro, how much you put into, how much work you put in. You got everything, bro. Yeah. You got, I can literally have every every kind of thing I'm looking for. I can have a track suit. I can have the cleats, I can have a regular tee and just, you know, jumpsuit, whatever, bro. You got it all. The NFL inspired me. If you can do everything, you're more valuable to the team. So why not have everything and be more valuable to the world? So on a business level, man, what's it like, you know, you're your own boss. This is your own brand. What's it like managing it um, and, 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 and handling the business aspect of it all? Because that's obviously a different side than just, you know, running the, running the business. It's tough. I mean, you know, because... You got to convince people to believe in your dream mm -hmm. and so that it becomes their dream. You know what I mean? And the people who work up under me, you know, I, I promised them, I said, listen, this brand right here, it's going to be bigger than Nike. Because you know what? Us athletes, we make brands. We made Nike. We made Adidas. We did this, but we don't understand that we made those companies. So where we getting free sponsorships, mm. four $4,000, that's what they gave me. They said, hey, you got a $40 million deal coming up. We'll give you $25,000. i am like, $25,000? Well, I'm a million dollar. I could be a million dollar For guy sure. the next year. Right. So me going to China, I realized that that $4,000 they was giving me was really like $100. Sure. You know, I, no, make, right. I make sample cleats for myself as low as $10. For sure. You know what I mean? Like... But when I get a complete sample like this, I gotta pay full price, two hundred. For sure. But they got their own facility, right. so understanding everything, I'm like, man, I could do this. I'm, I'm gonna be my own boss. I got a platform, you know. Let me do this. Let me grab a whole bunch of athletes because we, you know what I mean. We the one who build brands. Would you say? And I would just want to ask this on a business standpoint because I was getting some of my clothes from China. Right. I didn't. I was doing t-shirts and yoga pants, nothing right. like this. <laughs> just small stuff, just for more of just fun stuff. Do you think now with everything going on with COVID, it's going to make your, your life a little bit you know harder as far as getting the, the product here or, or even going there to see your distributor or just being in contact with them? I would say going there is harder, but I already went through everything. You're already done. Yeah. You know, I, I my, the new sweatsuits, they were stuck in customs for four That's, months. Dude, I had that happen you to know? me. That is the biggest. I had, I, I had a rolling paper company a long time ago. Okay. And with a rolling paper company, bro, my whole thing was, it was called the Evolve. I had a really cool branding. The E's were backwards. It was really okay. dope, all that. The problem with it was, bro, is social media doesn't allow you to advertise anything that's to do with cannabis-related, tobacco-related, whatever. They won't allow it. They won't even allow it. So you can't run ads on social media, Google, none of that. Wow. So for me, it's like, I got to do all this and get all my clients and wow. no help from, so I can't even pay for it. You know, ads, run ads, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. They won't do it. So I was like, you know, it's just not worth it for me. But getting that whole customs thing, dude, they held my, uh, my papers and customs, dude, and it was... I'm talking about I never had a more of a nightmare in my How life. How long did they hold your stuff? About a month, but it was a it was a brutal nightmare. Brutal. And this was before all this crap, but it was just a nightmare, dude. Just think calls, about calls, this. calls. Just think about this. I'm gonna put this in perspective. Just think about boom, I'm playing in the XFL. I got out of camp. I had to go see my dad. I got out earlier than everybody. I had to go see my dad in Atlanta, then I flew straight to China. Then came back, played the season, and my stuff was supposed to be there. Mm. I paid four thousand dollars to ship it. Right, just you for know, shipping. That's for shipping. But when I went um, during camp, I reinvested fifty thousand at that point mm -hmm. because I'm like, we're gonna kill winter with these. For sure, you, know you are. I mean? bro, yeah. Got back here four months later. The season's over. 
now I got to try to sell, you know what I mean? In the summer. Right, in the summer, which is they-, they Screwing doing, up your marketing, right, all that. Right, right. right. Yeah. But it's doing very well. I'm like, you know, it's just a blessing. Mm -hmm. You know, everything's perfect timing, you know what I mean? Just like we here right out. now. Right. You know? So, I, I mean, it worked good, but now I know only go through DHL. Never go through- DHL's the best shipping yeah, carrier there Never is. go through FedEx, nah. UPS, nothing. Because I had to pay another extra thousand yes. for each- box when you're dealing with overseas always do dhl you're absolutely right i uh i had that experience too yeah. dhl is a great service that's it that's yeah. it for overseas for mm -hmm. sure for sure um where can they purchase o autica a lot of my listeners matter of fact everybody that's listening to this podcast right now make sure uh i'm gonna ask robert you know where you guys can follow it where you can shop it and i really want you guys to support this company support the wave support the wave ride the wave uh it's o autica that's just what it is i'm rocking it and i'm telling yes, you guys sir. it's incredible yes, and i'm gonna sir. be buying some stuff too uh, but where can they find it? What's the website, Instagram? Uh, the website, O-A-U-T-I-C-A dot com. Okay. Um, you know, we got the Instagram page, okay. Owatica underscore wave. Um, somebody will get back to you. Our customer service is great. You know, with every purchase, I never told them on that. You know, I just wanted to be a mystery. With every purchase we give, it's something extra in there for you, whether it's socks, whether That's it's cool. a watch, whether it's a beanie. Dope. You know what I mean? So Makes it fun. Right. So people are like, oh, my gosh, you know, hit me up or hit the Thank team you up. That, yeah, did you mean to send this? Yeah, that's a gift for you. That's you awesome. Know? That's dope to appreciate your customers right, like that. Right, right, for sure. That's a sweet deal, bro. Um, everybody shop Owatica. Make sure you hit them up on the Instagram. Yes, uh, it's going to be the new wave. That uh, you're going to be seeing everybody rock this. Like he said, it's going to blow up bigger than Nike Legendary, eventually. Legendary, man. Legendary, bro. Uh, and this tracksuit's super sweet. So dope, bro. Appreciate you. <laughs> no doubt. No um, doubt. Music, bro. Music's a big part of you. I've been seeing you in the studio. Um, right. And I see that you work with other artists. I think you even have a label. Right. Um, talk to me about the music side. And is it Owatica as well for yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Owatica Wave Music Group. Um, you know, I have a lot of close friends out here. And they make great music. You know what I mean? Including MK. And then, you know, just hearing these music and I'm like, man, like, you know, let's start a brand. Sure. Like we already got this, you know, athletes and music, they love fashion. Let's bring the fashion to them through football, through NBA, you know, through baseball and through music and production. And everybody thought I was playing and I'm like, you know what? So probably like five, six weeks ago, I had Corona. And um, I got it from, I'm not going to say, one of my teammates. How'd you recover, bro? Um, was it tough? Yeah, I, I, I just ate kale, soups. I didn't eat no meat. Did you have symptoms? You know? I mean, do you have some symptoms? Right now? Did you when oh, you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At first, I didn't. It took like seven days for it to hit me. And, um, you know, I just lost my taste. I'm like, what the hell? And my smell, I couldn't smell. So you knew right away what was up. Right, I'm like, man, please, I hope I don't got corona. Right, like, I'm right. healthy, but... I knew that was two weeks. Right. You know, I was just having fun and right. being around people or whatever. But, you know, you know, uh I just did Edelberry, um, sea moss, um, bitters. I was just taking everything, um, zinc. To get right, zinc's just, big. Just yeah. getting right and I just stayed away from people, man. And sure. you know, I just sat in my house and I just was thinking for like twenty five, thirty days, I'm like, I gotta stay away from people like so yeah. that time that I was away, I'm like, I still got to be making money. Right. I still got to be generating because at the end of this 30 days, my bills do boom, boom, boom. You got a dope ass spot. I see your spot in the <laughs> city, bro. Those windows are legit, bro. I need that. Hey, <laughs> that's the views. That's, that's, you know what <laughs> I mean? I call those the thoughtful views, I man, like that. Because I make a lot of creations yes. from there. Yes, yes. Yeah, man. So, you know, with that. You got the sickest pad in the city, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, you know. Just with those days, man, I just was like, you know what? I got to cre create something new. Sure. I got to, I got to, I got to. And, you know, that's when I was like making music. I just started listening to beats, writing a song. I'm like, man, I could do this, man. I wrote my first song. I recorded on this little app. Sound pretty good. Recorded 14 songs in like three days. And then probably you like- writing them too? Yeah. Hell yeah. 20, but they real experiences. You know what I mean? I For don't sure. go Talk out about here your real life. talking about so. And you got some experiences, bro. Right. You know, so I have to be aware of what I say because sure. it's real. For sure. You know what I mean? Um, and after that, I got in the studio, four hours, recorded three songs, you know. I'm like, damn, boom, went home, playing it all day. Next day, I'm like, yo, I'm back in here. Boom, another three songs. Boom. I'm like, dang. 
you know, just sitting, sitting, sitting. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go on a world tour. I know everybody, I know producers in Atlanta, you know, Sunny Digital, all these people. I know people in Miami, Dwayne Bo, you know, AB making music. I His stuff up. sounds good too, right? Yeah, now. yeah. AB nice. He does. He sounds good. Yeah, he he he. he that good song I know. Oh yeah, I like that. You know what I mean? A whole he, lot of money. He, Timothy he, dropping soon. That video shoot for the No. You, like I said, them visuals. You, your visuals got to be on point. That's what grabbed everybody's attention. From the No. Sean Payton talking about the good old. And I play <laughs> for the Saints too, so you can't have no cameras in there. But that's a good marketing thing. Right. Took off like that. That's awesome. AB doing shows and all, man. He don't need the NFL. Dude, he his music sounds good and how he's yeah. real passionate about it too. Oh, yeah. He, he love it. His, his I like how he's branding it. His album Himothy actually sounds like it's gonna be a hit. Mm-hmm. Uh he just did a song with Ross. Ross. I pulled up on Ross last week. Yeah. You yeah, were up in mine. He got a couple suits. Yeah? Yeah. The boss got Owatica? Yeah, man. He got the wave, man. He got man, the wave. I'm looking forward to he seeing the, the boss wave, up in that. Man. I, I, you know, we need him in there. For sure. It's going to fit his swag. For sure. What's the culture like in Miami? I mean, I know it's... I've never been there. That's why I want... I know it's amazing, but... It's, I mean, it's, what you what you want? The party life? You want the good life? You want the bad life? To be real with you, bro, I like partying here and there, but I'm kind of over that now. You right. know, I'm more of just like, bro, let's kick back. Let's go to a dope ass okay. restaurant. Okay. What's your spots in Miami, bro? Where are you where are you going if you want to eat like real good? I go to Kunk Heaven, man. Like I like to eat the I food. I heard about that Kunk man. in Miami. Man, come on, man. I heard about that. You know. My boy um, Jay. You know Jay? I don't know. Him. Like, he's it? tight with that. Jay Myers. Jay Myers, I don't know. You him. probably know him. Jay Wong. Probably if I see him. Yeah, you probably seen him for sure. Dreads. I, big Dreads. He's always with that in the mornings, working out with Gino and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was yeah, down there when I uh, pulled sure. up on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I went on the field mm-hmm. and got with him. Nah, but, you know, every time I go, Kunk heaven. I got to get Kunk. Boy, shout out to Kayvon Webster. He got a food truck out there and just opened a store. Um, his He got Kunk on his truck and everything. I heard Kunk is a big Miami. Crazy. Man. I never had it. Come on, come never. on. Never. I never even been get in Miami. The crack bro. Kunk. <laughs> you got to get the crack Kunk. You got to try the Kunk fritters. Okay. Nah. K Webb got some other type of fritters that's better than a regular Kunk fritters. He put his extra, he put his thing on there, but you know, you gotta go back to Miami, try that Kunk, chill, relax. I mean, I was out there with my boy Bradley Roby. and um He's know, out here a lot too. He trains up yeah, at the yeah. he trains up at Glory Games. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Good dude. We played against each other. You know Was he um, in Denver for was that Denver? Yeah, he he got drafted at Denver. Yeah. Our year, man. And no, that's good player. A, that's a great dude. Yeah, Roby, Roby want to invest in the brand. Mm-hmm. You know, he like, man, I love it, man. It's you know, I just feel like I should be a part of this. I'm like, bro, let's do it. Well, dude, like I said, it's like you know, a lot of people do clothing lines, and it's a it's a one time thing, and they're in and out in like six months. Even myself, you know what I mean? It's you know, you can say, oh, let me put a logo on something and get a few shirts made. It's right. a lot more. It's, right. Then you get into the business side of it. Then you get into okay, we sold some shirts. Now mm-hmm. what? Cleats, socks, you know, hoodie. Then you got to figure out, well, how much am I buying of each item? Right. What's selling the most? You know, so right. like a lot of business comes into it, and I just think how you're doing it is incredible, bro. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. It's it's tough. It's definitely tough. But you know what? You know, if it were easy, anybody could do it. For Straight sure. up, man. Yeah. You know, if we want to be, I love Nike. I promise you, I do. Yeah. I love Nike, man. Yeah. But but you don't own it. I, I don't own it. Right. You know what I mean? So, people, you got to think about it. Every a lot of people know Phil Knight owns Nike, right? But when you think of Nike, you think of Jordan mm-hmm. or LeBron. Mm-hmm. Those are the faces of the for sure. company. For sure. You know what I and mean? And that's who they're gonna care about the most. Exactly. And you so, don't own it like you said, you like Nike, but you love Oatica because that's yours. Exactly. You're the owner. This is what can take you to the next level in life, and this is what you can retire off. And Phil Knight chilling. Right. And you know it's something I mean? when you create something and you see the success of it all, there's no better feeling than no that. No better feeling. No matter what you do. No better feeling. Straight you up. You know what I mean? So I mean, that's that's what it is. So, you know, just like, you know, Nike has those guys on them, that's what I want to do with this brand, you know? So, Robert, I want to ask you, because I've watched a ton of highlights of you in college. Mm-hmm. I've watched a ton of highlights of you in the NFL. Talked to a lot of guys in the league about you, including Marquette. You know, just guys that I really respect. I ain't say nothing bad about me. No, bro, this, this is this is the thing, bro. That's why, I wanted, that's why I wanted you up in here, bro. You're talked about as one of the best corners, bro. So what I want to ask you is, and I know, you know, you've had a lot of different life experiences, right, you know, your right. Oatica stuff, you know, just different stuff. This is a hard year too right. for everybody. Is your goal to play again? Do you want to do it? Yeah, one yeah, more? yeah. Okay. That's I, what I want to ask. I love the game, man. I mean, you know, it's, you got to, you got to think about if you want to deal with the politics of the game. For sure. That's it. Though. That's what I want to, I want to I wanna ask yeah. if you want to deal with it all. Do you, do you want another, not shot? Cause you can get a shot, you yeah. know, that's not even an issue. Right. Do you want it though? 
I want it. I want it. If, you know, that's the main thing right now. Clothes is secondary. Right, because you can do that all the years later on. You already got it set up. It's already good. Oh, yeah. Right. Football has been number number one, man. I've been playing this game 26 years. Right. Since I was four years old. This is my love. And you're still in sick shape. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. I mean, this is a this is a love for me that no woman could give me. For right sure. Now. Damn. Like, you okay. Know what I mean? It's like that. Like, you you're know, passionate. The only love I got like that was from my mom, you know. And there's no love like your mom love. You right. know what I mean? She had you. But football is next. You know what I mean? Football three. My mama two. God one. You know what I mean? Everything else after that. Save the gun for these guys. You know? No, I, want, I like that because that's important, bro. <laughs> Football three, my mama two, God one. So you keep your priorities like that. Oh, yeah. And that's your structure. Yeah, that's And it. that's what keeps you so successful and, and, and uh, Everything else balanced. after that. You know sure. what I mean? Got to make sure, you know, I'm right with the man above. Make sure my mama's straight, you know, then make sure the brand, you know, straight after football. I got to stay in shape for football because without football, there wouldn't be no brand. You know what I mean? So... Are you comfortable with playing football this upcoming season with everything going on? You got to think about it. Yeah, I am. You already had it, too. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's not bad as what they're saying. Exactly. You know what I mean? But the problem is, are these other guys and younger guys going to be flying girls out? Right. Because or are they these... infecting other people? Exactly. Or the refs, even. Or the you coaches. No. Right. This, this, The things you see when you're in the NFL locker room is crazy. Oh. You know what I mean? But you got to be think, of, think about it. This girl might fly in. Another girl might fly out from somewhere else. And then it's just spreading. And she leave, another mm. girl might fly someone else. So if one of these owners gets sick, it's over. That's it. That's, and that was my concern about it. Like, what are they going to do even like, let's just use Bill O'Brien's name as an example. If he catches it. Wh- I don't. My, my thing is, how do they quarantine the whole team? Like, if he has it and he's been around you and other people, well, then you could possibly have had it. I guess they're testing every day. I don't know how they're doing it. I want there to be a season. If I have to go to Cardinal, I have season tickets to the Cardinal. If I have to wear a mask in the right. games, I'll do it. I don't care. I just want to go to a game, bro. The only way they're going to keep this under, everybody going to have to get it. It's, it. It is what For it sure. is. For sure, yeah. Because if they're going to have to rent out a whole apartment building and have patrol around it 24-7. To make week. sure. So for eight months, we're not going to see none of our family. Nah. None of, it's, it's not going to happen. And it's not going to happen right. like that. I'm curious to see what happens with baseball and basketball coming up in the yeah. next few weeks. To see how you know it goes there, I don't see stadiums being filled this year. I don't think there's gonna be fans in the stadium. That's my opinion. I want there to be, um, but what I really want is I want you to get back in the league next year, bro. This it, season, man. bro. I'm wishing you a lot of success. I know you work your ass off. Appreciate I wanted to ask you a couple more things. Um, yep. One, just because you know I'm a big, I'm into fitness, but my mm-hmm. diet sucks. But I wanted to ask you, bro, like, what is it like? Um, your training, your diet, your fitness. How uh, how serious do you take that? I take it real serious. Um, that's why when I got corona, I was really upset with myself. You know what I mean? Like, dang, how I let myself get this? Because you're weaker, you can't right. work out like you want to. You know, all that I'm, I'm probably one of the most healthiest guys most people know. You know? Sure. So and that, drippiest, and drippiest. Yeah, my my training <laughs> is is different. I got three different levels of training. You know, right after the season, mm-hmm. you know, I travel and I train. You know, you get it in here, run a little bit, but it's nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. You just keeping your body in the mold. Second mode, probably like two weeks after that, you know what I mean? That's when I go a little harder. Stacking up on food, you know what I mean? Running eight mountain. That's when I come back in these sand drills, pulling a smart car and stuff like that. Then when I'm, what, three, four weeks out from camp, I go down to Dallas with my trainer. Shout out to Real Truth, the best trainer mentally, physically, spiritually that I've ever had in my life, you know what I mean? And, you know, he trained guys like, you know, Keep to leave Chris Harris, AJ oh, Boy, bigger than that. <laughs> you know, shoot Mo Claiborne, like that's best how corners I, in the game. Yeah, yeah, best corners. Yeah, Charles Woodson, uh, you know, you name it. Right, and you know he just teach you more than that. He we, we train four times a day, so it ain't no time for talking on the phone. It ain't no time. And that's for what we were talking about earlier. You earn that yeah. money. Ain't no time for none of that. Right. You know? you just you a dog when you come and you see your body change within the first four days. The first four days. Four days. You sleeping like you're supposed to sleep because your body's shutting down. You, you're just so tired. You can't. You, can't you go. got you yet. We That's go it. four times a day, every day. Sunday you off. Monday through Saturday. Four days a week. Four days a week. We do pool workouts when we we under the water covering. Damn. Breathing under the water like almost 
choked. You know right. what I mean? Like drowned when I first right, right. took my nephew out there. He almost drowned. Right. So it's 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 mental, and that's when I came back crazy. So with that, it's those levels right there, man, and I'm ready to rock. For sure, bro. Yo, yo, yo. That's a wrap for episode 20. Man, episode 21 is coming up next. We're moving fast. We're moving quick. These Instagram live interviews have been going crazy. If you haven't followed me on the gram, hit me up. Matty Ice Show. Check out my interviews live. Like I said, those are going nuts right now. Shout out to the Blonde Bandits. Chelsea Walsh. Brooke Brazelton. My producer, Nikki T. Tantillo Productions. Keeping this podcast moving. I got some big things coming up. I'm going to be sharing that soon. Follow my YouTube, Spotify, iTunes. We're all up in there. I'll see you guys for 21. I'm out.